Hello and welcome to another video from Very Victoria Crafts and um, today I've been asked to explain a little bit about some of our adhesives and in particular the fast views so I was just going to make a quick little video to help out with that and thought it might be uh, useful for some of you as well out there so fast fuse what is it well fast fuse is a roller adhesive um which is similar in strength to you might recognize um we used to sell this our red tape adhesive so it's fantastic if you are making um things where you want a strong adhesion um if you're making boxes or things with perhaps moving parts and you just need a stronger adhesive than um our snail so this cartridge of snail is empty um, but I'm going to show you how to fill it because it's very similar in principle to um, refilling the fast fuse okay so you have your cartridge case and then the refills come like this now the refills I'm going to put all the price information on the screen when I've finished filming um, the refills work out at exceptionally good value and they come like this without um, the case which you need to keep pull out this little piece here and then the two pieces you can see the little clips just click back together and you've got this little protector for the adhesive here. So that's how to fill the snail, but that's also um, pretty much how to refill the um, fast fuse there. So just to help you out there, line up the little um, notches and click it together. So there is a knack, however, to the fast fuse, um, which there isn't with the snail. The snail is very forgiving. Um, it's roller adhesive, nose down. I don't know if you can see that on the camera there. Um, it's quite a strong adhesive. It's good if you want to stick card to card, but as I say, if you want anything that's got movement in it, then you'll need something stronger. But there is a slight knack to the fast fuse. Because it's such a strong adhesive, um, I think of it a bit like mozzarella. It, it kind of has a stringy texture to it at the end. So my tips for this are, think of it as a dog. It needs a wet nose, so roll the adhesive onto its nose if it hasn't um, come away there we go you can see a bit of the adhesive there make sure that it has a wet nose down roll along and then when you get to the end as if it was a dog sit <laughs> and flick and you're just going to break the adhesive in a sideways motion um, some people would like to do a tick or a flick to the side but what that does is it snaps the adhesive if you don't do that and you roll and then kind of try and pull away we, I think I've got such a knack I did it anyway um, you can end up with yeah can you see here all these stringy bits um, and then you're kind of thinking, oh goodness, it isn't working. Um, so just make sure that you do that flick. And then if that happens, you can see here, it's got a little bit of the tape. You can roll it back. If you've ended up with too much of that tape that's pulled out from where it's um, pulled loose, you can undo the cartridge um, and wind. So there we go, clicking it in, done. Okay, so some other things that you might find useful to go along with your fast fuse is this here. This is a silicon craft sheet which we sell um, and it basically means that if you are sticking a project and say you wanted to go right along the edge, it just means that you can get down along that edge and you won't have stuck to the paper. Um, this will come up easily and the, the adhesive has stuck to your project and not onto your paper mat. Whereas if you were to do this along here, obviously it would stick onto your paper mat and then everything else would be sticky as well. So I really recommend if you are getting the fast fuse that, that you get this too. Um, my next recommendation would be this, which doesn't look very attractive. Um, we're always lured by the exciting pretty things, but this is one of the most used items in my crafting kit. And it's called an adhesive remover. And it works just like a rubber. Um, you find a piece of that you've glued in the wrong place and you just rub. 